April, after the election, Morning in America, for Langston Hughes, the epigraph, America never was America to me. Morning in America, triumph of the thump. Morning in America, hillbilly elegy, waiting for America to be. Flyover, hollowed out, opioid nation, skulls and alleyways, waiting to be. We want someone to really blow things up, they say. Up and over, Land Rover, Mosul or North Dakota, don't matter where. Dump our ashes over Sunni nation, don't matter where. Let vultures come, gnaw on bone, hollow out our eyes, waiting for America to be. America never was America to me. Are there still borders? Are there still borders? More than ever. Severed head dangling from bridge in Fallujah. The man soaked in gasoline, motorbike dangling from bridge in Vienna. Are there still borders? In the land of marionettes following orders, no one remembers who gave the orders or what the orders were. We just know there are borders. Wires light up, pulsing laser beam. If you see something, tell security. He will light them up, laser beam. Every man sunk in his screen, waiting for the angel flapping chicken wings. We're waiting for her to light us up. Are there still borders? More than ever. They're building once again in Fallujah, once again ground to dust. Contracting chicken coops for fallen angels, flapping solemnly across the sea. Wires light up, pulsing laser beam. Are there still borders? Look down, look down at your screen. The following poems are full of the refugees, the migrants looking for a home. Refugees comes from the word refuge, safe harbor. Noemi Alvarez Kie. Noemi Alvarez Kie, 12 years of age, hung from a rod in the bathroom of a shelter in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. She started her 6,500 mile journey from the shack of her grandfather in Quito, Ecuador, across dirt roads that cut through dry cornfields. Noemi hung from a shower rod, staring past the shanties in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Staring at a photo of her mother and father calling her to come to them across dirt roads, come to their home in the city of Queens, city of gold fields. Noemi hung stiff as a rod, roaming cross fields with coyotes outside Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Roaming with a photo of her mother and father, black wing of the condor hovering black roads, wing of the condor hovering over city of gold fields. Some say Noemi is a rod, a rod of iron, an iron wall outside Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. The call of coyotes, call of mother and father, roaming with coyotes over black roads, riding wing of the condor past the city of gold fields. Get up and bar the door. We are the flood, the plague, the wall, the atrocities, los migrantes, the stones who don't matter, the glass in your eye. We are Christ in Chiapas, waiting for la bestia, the beast, the last train that leaves for nowhere, the mud flats that breathe the black throat of river, the marshes oozing blood, the leg of a feral hog, los puercos, the pigs, hungry for your slop. Get up and bar the door. We are the atrocities. Our ladies are the cuerpo matiques, the credit cards made of flesh. They give themselves for nothing, nada, Madonna of the rag. Wipe your hands on her, smear her on your face. Que bonita bandera. You could eat her for dinner. Feral bone on El Camino Real. 
Look for us under the wall, in your tunnels, in your marshes, in the black throat of river. Get up and bar the door. We are the great plains. Now, if you want to know something about ethnic cleansing and internment camps, ask the American Indians. Clear the great plains, La Hora de Sangre, the Hour of Blood, after an article by Ned Blackhawk. Sand Creek Massacre, November 26th, the year of our Lord, 1864. 200 women slaughtered. Cheyenne and Arapaho, children, older men, Black Kettle, the band's leader. Oh, Black Kettle, atrocity in C minor. Patrick Edward Connor's massacre of Shoshone villages along the Idaho-Utah border at Bear River in the year of our Lord, 1863. Nada, nothing of Navajo. 1864, the long walk, promenade in F minor. Children who don't matter, slump to the floor. Clear the Great Plains, La Orda de Sangre, Blood Hour. Disemboweled pregnant women, genitalia on parade. This is where it happened. This is where it is. Sand Creek, Beer River, the long walk, promenade in F minor, adagio of limbs, saraband of slit throat, school for cadavers, shearing of sheep, buffalo, Navajo, bagatelles for a massacre, Shoshone, Cheyenne, Arapaho, Navajo, death on the installment plan, cantiful for a crucifixion. Atrocity in C minor. Wow. Uh, this is for Ruben. He delivered two mattresses to my uh, apartment in Brooklyn. Uh, he brought the two mattresses up by himself. He didn't work with anybody. I call him Ruben Rama Tag Rag. Ruben Rama Tag Rag from Trinidad or where? Loved the mattress, no, two, off the truck, up the stairwell, sort her beauty rest, magic foam. Ruben Ramatagrag did not understand how he got here, from where or why, could not even try. He was carrying air, but air was heavy, bending his thin frame, which came from where. He only knew he must awake when the sun blinked and worked till it sunk. He was not paid and wondered why. He worked for his father who bought the truck and he had debts to pay, so his father said. Ruben Ramatagrad was born in Trinidad, came to America at one. He was not a citizen, did not know why. Was told that he should have a social security card, but this was hard, so he must lug mattresses for his dad from Trinidad. And where was his mom? Somewhere in Pennsylvania, he said and his sisters spread around. He did not know where, he did not know why, just spread around. One sister, Rabia was her name, had died and was underground, buried under a juniper tree, he said. She had turned into a leaf, the leaf into a crow. The crow cawed outside his pain every morn, and he blinked with the sun and was reborn to lug mattresses to tired folk who must sleep well on Serta Beauty Rest Magic Foam. <laughs> In the aftermath, which will happen soon or is happening right now, after the fall. No one was certain, no one knew for sure. What had really happened, no one could recall. There are plains of ash, fields of ice, a gash in the earth 500 miles deep, and owls lonely call. There are cobras here, winding through the reeds, winding round the air, that sings a coil, can you hear? Out of the tundra of seven scorpions, out of the canyon of eight echoes, comes a coiled sound, echoes of a silent sound, round and round the silent sound coils, the silence round. Cobras whine, vipers slither, beetles scuttle round. If there are children, no one knew for sure. They are hiding in the reeds with noses out of water. If there are mothers, no one knew for sure. They command them to be silent from perches on the shore. 
The crocodiles are still sniffing in the air, waiting for a coiled sound winding round the coiled air. Who are we? How did we get here? No one knew for sure. Why the silence? Why the owl? No one could recall. This is for Ron Spellingetti, who's still alive and well in San Francisco. Yes. And will the peacock take flight? The first four lines come from titles of Lawrence Ferlinghetti's poems. Constantly risking absurdity, back roads to far places, I am waiting sometime during eternity. O oh, rise, peacock, beyond the mayhem and dismay, the wings that blot the moon's slit ray. With sweetness sublime, O oh, sing the high prophet's song. Take flight, swoop down the sky, hurl birds who intimidate, who raise their head feathers in startled displays. In cerulean sky, shearing of sheep, allegory of innocence and guile, in Gethsemane night, aurorian light. In the veil of three tears, tres lagrimas, la hora de sangre, in the hour of blood, sing your madrigal of madness over strand of despond, O peacock, journey to the end of night. And will the peacock take flight? Mm -hmm.